In this video, we're going to take a look at fixing some of the issues we created during the concept phase of creating a fender flare. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in this video, we're going to talk about fixing some of the potential issues that we made during the concept phase. Now, since it's over the weekend, I'm probably not going to get a couple of long videos done like I've been trying to do during the week. So I wanted to make at least one video that I can upload on Saturday and talk about some of the ways in which we can fix some of the things that we did. Now, I know that's extremely vague, some ways, some things, but let's talk about what I, what I mean here. So one of the main things that I see when I look at this design is we've got a big bunch of edges or small faces right in this area. And then we've got large faces here and they kind of carry down. That looks really nice. And then we've got some large faces over here. So when I look at this, I don't really like this bunching up because it's much harder for us to control and we have to spend a lot of time fixing it. So a couple things that we can do, which we've already explored, is to delete some of these edges, use offset or insert edge, and then put them back. But I kind of think that we, we don't have or we don't really need as much control as we have. So because we also have this five-sided or this, this star point that's going to cause us problems, I want to go ahead and fix some issues now, and then it'll be much easier for us downstream when we're adding more detail. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Modify, Insert Edge, and I want to select a few of these edges. I'm going to say 0.5, Single Insertion Mode, Simple, and say OK. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. You might be wondering why I don't do that entire back edge, and it's really it's because of this point that happens right here. So we're going to go to Modify, Insert Edge, do the same thing here to get a nice offset that's evenly placed between those two surrounding edges. Then we're going to go to Modify, Insert Point, and we'll just connect those two. And one thing you'll notice happens here is as soon as we do that, we get rid of this edge. We simply select it and delete it. And now we've got this, assuming it looks like a four-sided patch, but then we have this extra edge in the middle. So we either need to carry this to the end or we need to get rid of it completely. And this brings me to my next point. The number of divisions that we added very early on was sort of a, you know, sort of a pipe dream. It, I thought that we might need that much control, but I always say that add as few faces or edges as possible in the very early sections of the design because they're harder to control. And we can see it here in this design. We made too much work for ourselves. So what I'm going to do is double click this, which should go all the way inside the wheel well, and I'm going to hit delete. Now, we can't just get rid of that one we have to get rid of all the ones that are in between. So let's control Z and undo, and let's think real hard about this. We're gonna go and skip the, the ends, and we're gonna do each one in between. So I'm gonna take this one, delete. I'm gonna take this one here and delete. And then I need to fix this edge here. So I'm gonna go to modify, insert point, and I'm gonna just bring this straight back, and that's gonna be okay for now. Then I need to take this edge, and I'm gonna delete it, this one here, this one here, and so on. And again, we're skipping every other one. And you can see that it's starting to have an effect downstream. This is going to get a little tricky because of this section here, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of everything with the exception of this edge. I need to take care of that later. We'll come back and fix it. You'll notice that I've got uh, this, this section here I need to get rid of, and this one here. And you'll notice that leaves us with this extra small section at the bottom. Let's do a quick test and let's go into smooth display mode. And the wheel arch itself doesn't look too bad. If I go into my wireframe display, you can see here that it's pretty close to the underlying mesh. I can do a little bit of work here. And what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I bring this up and close to the mesh. Generally, I avoid working in smooth display for something like this, but because we removed some of that control, I think it's important at this stage that we do it. So that looks pretty good. If I go back to box display mode, you can see that everything still looks fairly consistent. So again, control and six on the keyboard will bring that back. So we've already made drastic improvements to the number of faces and edges that we have to control. We could do a little bit more work. Uh, for example, we could manipulate these shapes, but when we're looking at this, we've got these straight lines right here and right here. These are gonna be our main controlling body lines. 
We still need to deal with this down here because we now have sort of created this five-sided section and we need to deal with it. And that either is going to mean creating a triangle. So we're gonna to have to do a triangle or we're gonna to have to raise this up or lower it down. So we might need to bring it all the way down to here or raise it all the way up. Um, it's kind of just gonna depend on the shape that you're looking to do. For me, I'm gonna to go to Modify Weld Vertices and I'm gonna bring it down to here. I'm gonna say, okay. And then I can manipulate this edge, just sort of bring it down. I wanna view this from the back, kind of see where it falls. It looks like it's a little bit inside, but not too bad. So in a smooth display, we're probably going to find some problems with this that we need to deal with, but uh, let's just go ahead and let's see. Yeah, so you can see that in smooth display that that's not, it's not a very good result. It's something that we're gonna have to approach and modify, but uh, so far it looks, well, it's not too bad. It could be worse. But using some quick manipulations, it's already looking a bit better. As soon as we add a bit more control here, that'll be all right. But um, you can see at this point, what we've done is we've gotten rid of, or we've, we've removed a lot of the additional control that we didn't really need. We still need to do some cleanup. Uh, you know, so for example, I don't really like where some of these edges are. So I think maybe I wanna move this one up. And I probably want to take these two and simply delete them then come back with insert point, and I'll just draw a straight line between there and sort of fix that. So these are some, some things that we can do. Probably wanna move these up as well. So again, I'm gonna get it to where I think it should be, and then I wanna take this entire face and move it up. And then probably bring this vertex up a little bit. Say okay, and then I'm gonna get rid of these two edges. And again, when we get rid of those edges, what's actually happening is we're allowing the software to come back and remove as much stress as possible from those faces. So it's, it's a much better situation for us because it's allowing it to sort of smooth itself out. So again, in smooth display, if we take a look at this, uh, you can see here that we still have a little bit of work here. This, we've seen this happen before, but this pops up and it's really a graphics issue. So I'm, I'm not really gonna worry about the way that looks right now because I know based on the layout of all the other edges that that is not a real problem. And if we wanna verify that, we can always do like zebra stripes. And if we take a look at zebra stripes, you can see that they're fairly smooth going through here. When we zoom back out, we can see they're fairly straight. There's some little bumps that happen here. Sometimes we can use repair body and again, allow it to automatically repair if, there, if there's really any problems. And again, at this stage, I'm not too concerned with it. I'm 99% sure that's just a graphics issue. As you notice, when you rotate it around to the side, we don't see anything here. It's only really when we get to here that we start to see it. We rotate it around. We can kind of see it a little bit there. But so again, that's something that I'm not too concerned with right now. It's something that we can deal with later. The bigger problem for me and uh, as I look through here, everything back here looks pretty good. Everything up front looks pretty good. The bigger problem for me is really this right here. So that's something I do want to take care of before I move on. And I want to make sure that we address any potential problems that we have here. We can always come back and we can add more edges and more detail. But it's important that we at least fix some of these issues that we can when we can. Not all of them, but some of them. So this one here the main reason that we have an issue is because if we rotate this around, this section here is fairly flat. So this is another one of those situations where we, we have to really spend some time and think about the shape that we want. So if we look at the front edge and this top edge, you can see they're pulled back from the surface a little bit. And then when we get down to this bottom edge here, it's, it's almost flat. So that ends up causing problems and a couple ways that we can deal with this or fix it is one, deleting edges and see what the, you know, see what the shape wants to do. Uh, or we can delete all of these faces and sort of remake this intake scoop. So let's give that a shot. I'm gonna go to a right hand view and I'm gonna select these faces here. Just gonna hit delete on the keyboard, get rid of them, go into smooth display. So you can see in smooth display, the opening looks okay, it's fairly flat here. And if we go to the mesh body, 
you can see that we're pretty far away from the body. And this is uh, sort of the next topic of discussion that we need to think about. So when we're at this stage in the concept, this is really where we're going to start to begin pushing it to the body. We don't want to add any tight edges or creases or shape before we're actually attached to the body because that's, unfortunately that's going to end up making it much harder to control when we start pushing those vertices in. So at this stage, I am going to double click on this front edge, going to insert an edge right in the middle, and then I want to take these additional faces, I'm going to select them, and I'm going to delete them. I'm going to make that intake a little bit wider. That'll give me more area for me to carry that shape in. I'm going to go to my box display. I'm going to take this edge here and delete it. Again, reduce the number of control points that we have to worry about. Go back to a smooth display. It makes this opening a whole lot smoother. It makes it much easier to deal with. So let's go ahead and go to a right-hand view. Let's do a quick save. Again, we're not gonna be adding all the detail here because it is gonna take a bit of time, but I wanted to make sure at least that we talked about the ways in which we can fix some of that additional control we added that we really didn't need. And we can sort of bring it back down to a, a much more manageable level. So anytime we have these extra edges or divisions that we don't really need to control the shape, come in and get rid of them, all right? So you can see that we're attached to all the places we need to. If we're worried about this section here, we can delete all these faces, but since we rolled it underneath, I'm gonna keep it there. But you can see that this is a much more simplified version, a much more simplified situation, and the shape that we're gonna get out of this is gonna be much smoother. The last thing, again, is to think about the edge divisions that we have for some of these. So for example, I probably wanna get rid of those two, and then I'm going to do an insert edge right in between, insert point, and connect those two. It might be the exact same thing, but in some cases, you know, you might get a little bit better situation. So we're going to go insert edge. It's the wrong side, so I'll say negative 0.5. Come back to insert point. And I'm actually going to connect it all the way to here. And I'm going to take that one and delete it. So again, back to smooth display, make sure that I'm happy with those results. And again, it's good to check the zebra stripes. You can see now the zebra stripes, there's a little bit of wiggle here, which will go away once we start to control this a bit more. You can see this is this opening because there's no surface past this edge. It really doesn't know what has to happen in this area. So you can see that it's causing these small wiggles in the zebra stripes. But once we get to this face, everything looks nice and smooth. It looks nice and smooth all the way back, and that's the, the result that I'm looking for. When we look at zebra stripes, what we're really hoping to see is the, the lines that we would expect when we have a shadow. So you can see down in the bottom here, the lines that we would expect when we have a shadow, we want to make sure that the zebra stripes follow that. You can see that it comes out of this intake, goes up over the fender, and carries back. But you can see here it sort of dips down, and then it comes back up. And that's an indication that the surface here doesn't have, you can see that little, that edge that's happening from our intake scoop here. So it's, it's kind of showing me that this is dipping in a little bit, and that's going to be a problem for me. So when you're working on these designs, when you're starting to play around with these shapes, these are the kinds of things that we want to make sure we look at and identify. And remember, at any point in time, if we can reduce the amount of control that we have, it's going to be better for us in the long run. The last step is I'm going to say, uh, go ahead and scale this in. Then I am going to potentially scale it a bit this way, move it a little bit. And what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to gradually transition this opening. And I want to rotate this a little bit before I accept it. I'm going to go to a smooth display. That looks OK. I'm going to go back to a box display. Then from my top view, I want to extrude this one more time. And this time I'm going to start to bring it back as if it was my intake scoop. And this is one of those things where we're going to end up adding additional control on this edge to make sure that it's nice and smooth. But you can see that this gives me a little bit more control over this face and this edge. 
And now we have a nice smooth intake scoop right here. You can see that the transition is much nicer. If I get rid of those edges, you can see that looks pretty good. We can see that we've got the door shape here. It blends in. And then as we rotate this around, you can see that we're carrying it in. So again, some of those issues that we're seeing are a result or sort of a product of lack of control with these open edges. As soon as we start to kind of dictate where that shape is supposed to go, then it can really help us figure out if we have an issue that we really need to solve. But at this point, hopefully it's very clear that you should not be afraid of deleting edges, deleting faces, taking a step back, because the, the most common problem that I see with forms is adding too much control and then not being able to actually handle it, deal with it, control it. It's just, it's a product of the tool. It becomes very easy for us to, uh, you know, sort of work ourselves into a situation and we feel like we don't want to delete it because it's going to cause problems. But I mean, even now I'm looking at this, I'm going to go into insert point. I'm just going to bring an edge straight across. And, you know, those are just the tiny little things, but we want to make sure that we've got these nice smooth transitions, especially when we're dealing with these star points. And we're going to have these star points all over our design. We're not going to be able to completely avoid them. But as long as you understand how you can manipulate the geometry into and out of those areas, then you'll have a much better result. I'm going to make a save here. And again, I can't stress enough, if you're working on a design like this or you're trying to follow along with your own car, then make sure that you are comfortable with deleting edges, inserting edges, making sure that you understand how to use edit form, setting the pivot, scaling and rotating, making sure that you're comfortable with insert edge and insert point. And you'll notice that we really haven't used very many tools at all. We've used slide edge a few times. Uh, we're going to use pull to bring it down to the mesh. But for the most part, we use edit form. We use insert edge and insert point, and we use weld vertices. Those are really the main three or four tools that we need to do pretty much everything. All the rest of them are kind of helpers. Things like bridge can help us, but we can really do the same exact thing with using edit form and extruding edges. So a little bit closer, and again, I, I didn't know if I was gonna have time to do some of the longer videos this weekend, so I wanted to at least make sure that I had an additional video to put out so that way, if somebody is following along and trying to progress, you at least have a little bit more information and get back down to a cleaner version of the design. If you have any questions, please make sure that you comment on the video. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.